Hey guys, welcome back to the cat lady. Uh, we need to go enter pretty flowers. Smell the flowers. Sweet and sinister. Admire them. They're the prettiest flowers I ever got. I love them. They're absolutely beautiful. They're beautiful. Answer the phone. Do you like the flowers? What's your favorite scary movie? They're very pretty. They're very pretty. I knew you'd like them. Lilies. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. But not nearly as beautiful as you, Susan. Thanks, dude. This is a guy that needs to... Mm, be abrupt. We went to dinner once. That's all. I think we both know that is a lie. Well, it says liar everywhere. It's been a while, I know. But I can still remember how your lips taste of apples and cinnamon. Well, you got some delicious lips. And yours tastes like cigarettes and vodka. Mm -hmm. So I'd really rather forget, you see. I admit, we drank a bit too much that night. But you know I don't normally. I guess I was just so excited that you agreed to go out with me. I mean, a woman like you. You're so wonderful. I felt on top of the world. Man. I can quit smoking. Uh -huh. Would you like me to quit for you, Susan? Who are you? I don't really care, to be honest. Just quit oh, calling me. liar. Huh. Yeah, Susan. Susan. Oh, shut up. Just shut up, alright? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, Susan. I got carried away. But please, just think about it. No. I have time. No. I'll wait. Listen, I have to go. It's getting late. Wait. Yeah? When I call you again next Friday, you will answer the phone, won't you? No. 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 I'm sorry, but this is over. Goodbye and good luck. I guess I should do something about these flowers. I'd really like to keep them. But I don't want Eric to know I have a secret admirer. Can we just trash them? Eric can't see. Eric can't say. Uh, oh, there's a note. It reads, I know one day you will say yes. Oh no, I'm going to keep. Yeah. Trash that note. Trash, just take that. Flurs, pretty flurs. Where are we going? Well, it can't go in the bedroom. It can't go on the piano because the piano is right there. We could put it outside, but it seems like we can't go outside. Zoe's room. Let's go. Hi. Hi, baby Zoe. You're my nightmare room. We're gonna put the flowers in your room. Go down. Now I go. can tell Eric that Mandy had brought them for Zoe. It seems like a pretty innocent lie. I doubt he'll notice anyway. You could have kept them over like in the kitchen still and said they were for I your hope kid. you're dreaming about something nice, my little star. Eric must have come home early. But why? I don't know, Susan. It's not going to be good though. That was a very sharp Slam and also all the music stops, so that's probably a sign of bad things to come. And I don't like that. Hello, Eric. You're back early. Is something wrong? Yeah, well, let's think about it for a minute. Is something wrong? Yes, Susan, there is. Didn't you watch television? Listen to the radio? No. Didn't talk to anyone today? Not what, really. What happened? Yeah, just tell me. I don't really want to play Eric, the guessing game. Eric, just tell me what's wrong, okay? It was those bloody terrorists again, here on our doorstep. Would you believe that? Yes. So, it was a bomb? Yes, in a restaurant. Ah, oh, damn. There's chaos spreading all through the city. Everyone's panicking. The police and army are everywhere. But you don't even care, do you, Susan? Well, I didn't fucking know. Of course I care, you dingle. 
We had cartoons all day. I'm gonna ask him if he's Jesus. okay. Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm gonna try Did and be less hurt? confrontational. No, not really. But the cap smashed quite badly. I was just there when it happened. There was smoke. Clouds of dust so thick you couldn't see a fucking thing. So I stop. And all of a sudden some van hits me from the back. I hear my passenger screaming and shouting, and there's blood on the rear window. Ah, shit. And just then another car drives right into us, and we're all stuck in that mess. Nobody knows what's going on, but imagining this might just be the end of the world. Hmm. But no, it was some geezer with a bloody bomb. They closed all the main streets, in case there's more of them. What time was that? Around 7 p.m. I spent another two hours trying to get someone to tow the damn cab to the garage. Would you believe? Our insurance doesn't even cover this sort of thing. You should have called me. I did. Four times. You didn't answer. Susan, that's your fault. Been... Yeah, yeah. You were busy with the baby. Every time it's the same old story. We've still got that wine in the fridge, haven't we? Get some glasses, Susan. I need a drink. D, don't be All confrontational. Right. I'll get the glasses. You get the wine. But are you sure you don't want to take a shower first? No, I just need a drink. Okie dokie. I can wash later. Don't be confrontational. It's not good. Don't do it. Don't do it. Are you gonna drink in? Shit. Are you gonna get that? Yep. If it's Jerry, tell him I'm not here. I don't want to talk to them tonight. Got it. Hello. Hello. It's me again. No. I'm sorry, but no. I had to hear your voice again. No. I love you, Susan. No. My husband's right Susan. there. No. You still there? No. Please say something. Anything. Nope. I'm I'm sorry, but he's not home. I excuse me? He's at work, isn't he? He's not home yet, Jerry. Why don't you try again in the morning? He won't be back till late, right? Is that Jerry? I'm not here, just blow him off. Got it. Hang up on that fucker. Do it. Hang Susan, up. I'm so sorry. Fuck you, dude. Should I hang up? Yes, go away. Hang All up. Alright. Take care then. I'm not talking to you. Just hang up. There we go. Yep. Yep. Just just leave that crap in the bag. Then the arguing started. Hey, I was trying not to be confrontational. It slowly grew into something bigger. Something horrible. Stupid remarks and old grudges mixed with alcohol turned into some sick exchange of pointless accusations. Mm. It wasn't the first time we argued. But it was the last. Just look at the state of this place. It's a mess! Listen, I know you're with Zoe all day. But it's not like she's still a little baby. She's six months already. That's still You'll a little baby. You'll have to baby. organize your day a bit better and get things done. If other women find time, why can't you? Dude, get off my case. Don't be nasty. Drunk people like to talk when they're angry. But the more we talk, the more we do stuff. Either way, it's bad. All these answers are just gonna be bad, so might as well just Eric, like, you're back drunk. off. Get off my case, all right? You're drunk off Look, of a glass I of wine. I understand you've had a very bad bitch. day, but it's not my fault that the bomb had gone off and your car was damaged. Uh -uh. I'd really like you to calm down now. I'm sure we can sort everything out. We always do. Well, that's what you think. Yeah? And what do you think, Harry? No, don't, don't what ask do I questions. Think? No, so questions that are that is all of a sudden what I think. Well, I'll tell you. Sure. I think you're lazy, Susan. 
You do nothing all day, while I keep working my ass off to provide for this family. I think you're trying to shift the responsibility on me, like you always did. I think you use the baby as an excuse for everything. And I think you're an asshole. How dare you accuse me of such things? It only takes one look at the flat to see it's all true. Mm, I'm gonna go check on the baby, excuse Let me. Let go. I have to check on Zoe. I left a window open in her room. She might be cold. That's right. Just walk away. That's all you do, Susan. Just keep walking. You can never finish anything. Susan, just keep walking. Don't. don't. If there's one thing I don't mm. want to finish, it's this stupid conversation. Just go. Go. Don't. No. Why not? Huh. Are you afraid that I actually might be right? Are you scared of facing the truth? I'm sure Zoe's fine. It's the hottest summer we've had in years. It'll be good for her to have some fresh air in there. Won't you agree? No. I... It could be yes. No, no. Fine. Never mind. He, see, he's right when he says you don't finish what you start, Ren. You should have gone and checked on your kid. Just, just no confrontation. I'm done talking to you. I don't want a confrontation, of course you are. man. That's what you always do, isn't it? You run out of arguments, you stop talking to me, then you lock yourself in the bathroom and fucking cry. I'm sick of repeating the same old thing over and over again. Then why won't you give me a break, for God's sake? You're acting like I've done something terrible. I don't even know what your problem is. Is there something you're not telling me, Eric? You'd know if you listened to me. But you never listen to me, do you? Probably Not to a single do. word I've ever said. Right, here we go. It's not you. It's the alcohol speaking. I shouldn't be taking any of this seriously. I know that tomorrow you'll be apologizing to me for it. It was just a couple of glasses and you had some too. I'm not drunk. Mm-hmm. Sure. I wish not. I was. Maybe then I could laugh at this shitty life and not care so much. That's a good one. You really care so much, Eric. You should get a medal or something. Oh, stop it. I thought you said you weren't gonna talk to me no more. You are full of shit, Susan! Oh, God. Full of shit! Uh, everything's turning into capital letters. I don't want to do this. Uh, it's... I don't want to argue. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. For me. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Ugh. Yeah, this is gonna... We gotta start yelling back now. Just, I don't want to go the idiot way. I haven't done anything wrong! Of course not! Because you're fucking perfect, aren't you? That's not what I said. Well, if you're so perfect, yeah? Then why are we here now, fighting? This is all messed up. You're behaving like a five-year-old? What the hell is wrong with you? You, Susan! You always knew which strings to pull. To tip me over the fucking edge! Can we stop? Stop it! Please. Stop. Stop it, Susan. I've only just started. Oh, stop, dude. We should finally say to each other what we really think, right? No. No. And... We didn't even notice that outside the storm had started. That's not good. I was so absorbed in that stupid fight that I forgot all about the open window. Anyway, and the flowers. Those fucking flowers. Right there, by her bed. She had some rare allergy to pollen, but we couldn't have known that. How were we supposed to know? It's rare. She started coughing and choking. Uh, please don't let me hear that. I don't want to hear it. No. No. No, 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 I don't want to hear the sounds of a baby dying. No, 
no, no thank you. The next time we saw her, when we found her, she, she was dead. After two days of what seemed like a narcotic dream, Eric had gone out and never came back again. They found him nearly a week later. He drank himself dead in the woods. I nearly didn't recognize him when I saw him in the morgue. It really was a hot summer. He looked bad. I'm all bloated up, man. That must have been scary. Miss Ashworth, I... Thank you for telling me that. Now I understand. I understand why you're so sad all the time. My baby died. My husband left me. There was fighting. And now we're gonna get bludgeoned in the head by this crazy motherfucker. What right. do you want from us? Are you deaf? Mitzi, let me handle this. Let's go right Mitzi, now, you no, moron. Don't talk, Mitzi. Mitzi! Don't talk. You're pretty, Mitzi. He wants a pretty face. Leave her alone. Aw, oh, damn it. Don't you dare! No! Take me! Instead! And this is why you don't talk. Take me. Susan, we need to get loose. He has Mitzi. We have to save Mitzi. Susan? Susan? Susan. Hi. How are you? If you hurt my friend, I... Don't. I will. Don't. What? What's going on? Nothing good, nothing good. You're no. letting me go? Nope. Just like that? No, 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 no. Traps, traps, trap. My trap senses are tingling. Where's my friend? What have you done to her? Trap senses, trap senses, tingling, 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 tingling. We need to go, 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 Mitzi, 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 baby. Mitzi, baby, please, Mitzi, 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 Mitzi my love. Mitzi? No, 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 fuck you. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. You leave my Mitzi alone. Um, what's with the noise, dude? You sick son of a bitch. What do you want me to do? I don't understand. Yeah, I don't speak Wookie. Oh, he wants me to play the piano. Okay. You crazy fucking Wookie. Mitz, 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 it's okay. It's okay, Mitz. I'll be fine, Mitzi. It'll be fine. And the cats are crying. Get fucking beat up by cats. Yeah, that's right. Delicious. Your cat food. Oh no 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 Susan, why'd you stop? Susan, Susan, Susan. Susan, 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 chair, 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 chair. I didn't pick window up. Pick chair. Push. No, 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 don't sit in the chair. Mitz, 
Push it, 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 So just a little bit too much right there. A little. A guy just got eaten by cats and Mitzi almost got hung to death. Hi, Mitz. Are you okay? Hey. Hey. Eating him. Yeah. This is... I... Go to your room. Just pretend this never happens. Don't look. Yeah, don't look. Just go to your room, Mids. Mids. That's another chapter. That was not a good thing. I think we have two more chapters left, and then the cat's uh, and then the the thing's done. So that's nice. Really going to do it, aren't we? Yep. Yes, Let's do it. Mitzi. You will finally get your closure. Maybe I will get mine too. Did you take that map with you? Yes. We can always refer to it if we get lost. I don't think we're I've lived get in lost. this building for many years. I won't get lost, Mitzi. But it'd be a good idea to cross people off. Once we're sure it's not them, sure. it might give us a clear picture of how far we've got. Okay. Good luck, Mrs. A. You're coming with me. Mitzi. Are you sure you're feeling up to it? This recent incident, it must have been pretty tough for you. No, I'm good. You're not. I never felt good. better, Mrs. A. Not really. Don't lie to me. You now have Mitzi as an icon. For your inventory, use Mitzi's ability to pick locks. Sweet. Okay, Mitz, uh, why don't we just start across from here then? Let's knock on the door. Hello? Anyone home? I don't think anyone's home. Oh, that's a creepy face. I think I heard something. No, probably just my imagination. Well, you know what? Let's start at the top and work our way down. Um, let's go to this dude. Some young guy lives here. I think his name is Jesse. He makes a lot of noise, apparently. Why won't he answer his door? Is he deaf? Mm, probably not deaf, dude. There's some cool music coming from inside there. You gonna say anything about it? No? Okay then, well he's not coming out. Here's the pram. And the lady. I don't know where we should actually start. I don't know. Mitzi, do you know where we should start? Where should we start? Do you get any clues for me, Mitz? Huh? Huh? Uh, any clues for me, Mitz? Any, any Mitzi? 
Wanna do the tango dance with me? Tango, 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 dance, dance, tango, 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 dance, 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 booty, 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 dance. That's right, booty sisters, forever. Uh, let's go knock on her door. What's wrong? I don't I... like babies. I really don't feel that comfortable around babies, you know? Yeah, I can imagine. I talked to her, but I'm not quite sure how to approach this. I'm hardly an expert on babies myself. If only we had some good reason to talk to this woman. Okay, never mind. What we won't start mean? from the bot top. Something like... I don't know. Something to talk about. Can talk about babies. We can't just knock on a door and talk about the weather. Let's go somewhere else then. We can always come back here later. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Well, there goes my plan. Let's go just to the bottom, I guess. Hey, look, cats. Stitches. Somebody put something in the couch, yo. Flat one, we apologize for cluttering the hall. Their removal company has been called and they will collect the sofa and chair soon. We're sorry for the inconvenience. Blah, 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 blah. Can we just open it? It's locked. Okay, so we can't just open it. There's a radiator. And something broken. And I think that's the lady who has the dog. Oh, hello, the dog lady. Look, pretty fleurs. Mailbox, open the mailbox. No mail for Susan Ashworth, surprise, surprise. Fleurs, examine the fleurs. Someone freshly picked the fleurs. Winter roses, long Maybe forgotten. one day you will forgive flowers, Mrs. A. Maybe, or maybe not. I like flowers. Excuse me. Hello. You live on the first floor, am I right? Yes, that's correct. Flat two. And you're Susan Ashworth, I presume. Yeah. I've been meaning to talk to you, actually. Really? Is something wrong? Well, it's those cats. I understand you're trying to do a good thing. But it's become unbearable lately. This can't be sanitary for people living here. And I'm sure it's not allowed by the council either. They're not my cats, though. You, you do know that, right? Look, they're not my cats. You're Susan Ashworth, the cat lady. And you're whatever the fuck you name is, the you dog lady. Do. Everyone's sick of those cats, and I am too. Brian said he will get in touch with animal control if things don't improve. Yeah, that's not he gonna happen. He already did. Really? Well, I certainly don't see any improvement on first floor. It's still completely overrun by these filthy creatures. Cats are very have clean. have to talk to them again. I hear they've run out of business recently. Yep. Then he'll have to find another one. This is just not good enough. Are the cats, cats bothering, bothering you? you? Yes, they are, actually. They usually stay outside anyway. I bet you hardly ever see them. I see them all the time, actually. Ever since the Morrisons from Flat One moved out last month, your cats seem to reside permanently on <coughs> my floor. And that sofa, my god. They're always gathered round it like it's their shrine. Yeah, there's it something was in the sofa. It's responsibility to dispose of it, but they just left it there. And a whole load of other rubbish, too. Okay, that's not my fault, really, is it? But you encourage cats to come here. You don't need them. Everyone knows that. Every time I take William for a walk, he gets upset and tries to chase them away. Well, William's definitely your dog. Did you say they sleep on the old sofa? I didn't say they sleep. Have you not listened to me? 
No. I'm beginning to wonder if they ever sleep, actually. They just keep climbing up and down the wretched thing. They're noisy. They leave germs all over the place. They're they clean. They scratched upholstery and the paintwork. And William keeps chasing them. He's so quick, I can't help him most of the time. What if he runs off and gets lost? Do you know what a I'm leash is? I'm telling you, we've never had such problems before you decided to bring here these homeless devils. Who's William? Your dog. William is my dog, of course. Yeah. He's 12 years old, He's, you know. He should be dead. He shouldn't be running after cats at his age. Okay. Later. I have to go now. See you later. Uh, can we pick the lock and go into that empty room, Miss Mitzi? Can you do that for me? Pick the lock. Do Would it. Would you like to try your famous lock picking skills on this lock here? Let's see. A young child could open this lock with a piece of wire. That's fantastic. Have you done it yet? No. I can't work when you're looking over my shoulder. Okay. Turn around, Susan. Do you mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn around, no? Susan. Sure. I'll just walk away for a minute and stare at the wall if that's what it takes to get this done. Thanks. Da 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 da. You good? You done? Oh, cool. That looks really. They they took the light switch. Seriously, they take that spanner. Whatever the spanner is. Oh, it's an actual wrench. Cool. Don't know why we need a wrench. Hey, look, a cat thing. It's Joe Davis's flat up there. You digging holes in the floor? Right on the edge, there's a black shiny object. I can't quite tell what it is from here, but it looks like some kind of statue. Cool. Table. Examine. Rotten through. Fabulous. Window. Sunny side of the building. My side's always dark. At least it seems so. Clearly this place is empty. I reckon we can cross it off the list. Yep. Press any button to close. There's a plug. What does depression feel like? It feels like something eating well. you out. But you can't do anything it about like it. All I want is to die, but I have to live. Pretty much. That's funny. Most of the time, I feel like I want to live. I have to die. You just got dealt the short stick, my poor little mitts. You got dealt the short stick, my friend. But it happens. And it sucks that it does, and I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. Super sorry. Super, super duper sorry. Actually, yeah, I, I really apologize if I sound stupid, but I'm really sorry. Okay. Uh, we're gonna stop this here, and we're gonna go look at the rest of the house in the next episode. So, see you guys then, and I hope you have a good time, because... I'm having a good time, even though I just woke up, but I'm really tired, but it's okay. So, see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.